Okay, now I found a problem to my solution. Okay, now, I had to freshen up. After my workout video, this is another video that I'm doing after my workout video. Now, don't worry about what nobody have to say. Because here's the thing, you support you, you support other people, and you know you're touching other people's lives, not just your own, you know, so do you um, put your video up of whatever you do to make yourself healthy in whichever way that you need to make yourself healthy, okay? People gonna talk crap all day, but remember at the end of the day, we ain't God. And they talk about him and still nailed him through the cross. So everybody else ain't gonna even fucking exist. Fuck them. Um, you just in your own world, your own space, and doing what's right for you to make yourself feel comfortable, to feel good about yourself. So be ready to um, do what you gotta do for yourself, no matter what people say. Because um, at the end of the day, it's only gonna benefit you. So, with that being said, let me tell y'all a little bit about me. Uh, I got four kids. I was married. Um, wasn't happy or nothing like that. But my husband wasn't my best supporter either. You know, as far as in, in my lifestyle, of things of how I'm changing as I get older. You know, he was just comfortable with me being who I was. I was up to like maybe. 262, I don't know, I was big. And I don't like to use the word big, but I was a nice portion of the size. But um, I had tried so many different medicines, so many different types of pills. Nothing worked but the prescription pill of Ala, of the Zenicals. It was called Zenicals. Those pills worked, they got me down to the size that I am now. But finally, I got approved for the bariatric surgery. So, that's definitely gonna work. It's in my plan to make it work um, if everything go well. But a little bit back, you know, I was kind of a little depressed. Felt like I was losing my freaking mind. I didn't know where to start. You know, having these kids, after my third kid is when the weight packed on. I noticed then. So that's my biggest that I had got or whatever. So now I'm down to 236, which is awesome. But I could be a little smaller than that because um, some days I be tired still, lazy, don't want to get up and do certain things, work, do a lot of shit, but I have to get up and do it anyway. But uh, I have like back problems, and I know that's all coming from uh, me gaining a weight over time that I have gained. So I'm more trying to take control of my life now because I'm single. I have nobody looking over my shoulder. Uh, you know, so I put the dating situation off on hold until I get my life together and my career where I needed to be. And then I might stop at that. But right now, me and is a no-no for me right now. So I just got these kids, which is four, I'm about to say four. <laughs> I have four kids. Um, two, one grown, the other one's gonna be grown. And I got two other ones, 10 and 16. And then 17 year old and my 21 year old. So, uh, Right now, those, those are my best, 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 best supporter. My sisters, my older sister, she really don't think that I should have this surgery because she don't think nothing wrong with me. But when I look at her and I tell her sometimes, like, no, like, there's some things that I need to fix. And when, when she looking at us, when she had to think back how big our mom was, because you know, my mama, she was 500 pounds. And I'm talking about she cried cried all the time about being that big, you know, and couldn't go outside. When she was smaller, we, we was able to pick her up and put her in her wheelchair and take her outside. But once she got bigger, um, 
we could take her outside no more. You know, my dad, so I know the one thing that stuck in my head was her, you know, because I used to love to eat so much. She said, Monique, don't ever let yourself get like this because, you know, it's a frustrating situation. You know, so when they go outside, the way y'all going outside, and I can't, you know. So the thing is, I have to not let myself um, get, you know, that size because that's the one thing that's not going to be good for me. And actually, that's what my mom died of, obesity. So that's not a road I want to go down whatsoever. And my baby sister, um, she... She support me, but she don't think I should have a surgery either. But yeah, but at the end of the day, it's my it's my choice. You know, I don't I I'm a true believer in God, a very very true believer in God. Understand? Me. You understand? I don't care what nobody say. I believe in God, so I don't think God will take me no further. Then he going to take me. Then the father snatch my life from me. Because he don't take lives, he give them. Okay? Satan take lives. So, I'm coming in the blood of Jesus when I get ready to have this surgery. I definitely know that. That's my faith I have in my God. I don't know what kind of faith everybody else got in their God. But in my God, I got that much faith in him. To know that he going to protect me when I get ready to lay down. And I'm going to get up and be well. And shake this little fat all over off me. I don't like to use the word fat, but they shake this little stuff all over me, you know. But remember, uh, you know, you, you might not have the people in your corner like you want them to. And if you got to take a break from certain people, then you do that. Because your health is the most important thing in the world. And especially if you got kids, you know. You don't want to sit around and not be able to do nothing for them or, you know, just be out there being a mother, doing the things with them that you should be doing and you can't do it because you're a certain size, you know, so um, just do whatever you got to do. So if anything that's hindering you from being where you want to be in life, period, remove that situation because it ain't going to be good for you in the long run. I'm not only just talking about weight, anything that's hindering you, that you feel like hindering you, remove it. And don't be afraid to speak out about nothing because um, you're going to be judged no matter what. But the judgment from the people here don't even exist. Your judgment only matter when you get ready to go to heaven because he had the last say so over you. But on the other, uh, but on the other hand, um, Try to stay healthy, you know, and eat right, do right, live right, be better for yourself. If not for yourself, be better for your kids. Because I got four kids, two of them always grown, but you know, my job ain't never done yet. Because these freaking kids of mine drive me crazy. But I do. Well, uh, um, Y'all to subscribe to my videos. Follow me on uh, Facebook. Because I got a uh, Facebook page too as well. Uh, called Classy Girls with Thicker Thighs. My mouth. I'm going to tell y'all. My mouth is like. I got a cutty, cutty, cutty mouth. This mouth just saying whatever first thing come to her head. You know. Like with the cussing and the swearing. I got that shit bad. But God know me. And he forgive all fools. So know that <laughs> but um i ain't gonna use the sentence of cussing we am but um follow me at i'm on 39 uh that's on facebook and the name is classy girls with thicker thighs um I need to stop saying uh too. But I'm nervous, so you y'all won't hear that in, in eventually once I get real real comfortable doing that. I mean, making these videos. I won't be hearing um no more. I'm gonna be able to just spit my words out, spit it to you like, okay, okay, she got it, yeah. <laughs> but 
but uh, yeah, I gotta stop saying that. But oh my Jesus, just follow me on Facebook. I'm gonna keep you guys posted through my weight loss journey, cause that's what I'm gonna call it, my weight loss journey. For me, I'm not worried about what the other people are gonna say. And if they decide to share my video, trying to be extra, quote unquote, guess what? That's going to be a good thing for me in the long run. You dig? If y'all know what I mean. But I do uh, want other people to subscribe, subscribe. I got the worst speech ever. My dad, he from Mississippi. He's a country booty digging mother, you know. I thought I heard something. I probably did. But on the other hand. Y'all have a good, blessed day. And remember, if you don't have a supporter, I'm talking about, uh, excuse me. If you don't have a supporter, I will be your best supporter. Understand that, you know, as in through your weight loss journey or whatever it is. I don't have no money or none of that to give to nobody, but. Sometimes friendship and just a word of mouth can be good for somebody, anybody. Word of ear can be good, you know. You can lend a person an ear and that can be all they want. Because I don't have no money to get nobody. I'm broke as hell. But I'm living by the grace of God. Boop, boop, boop. That's, so that's all I need. But, um, yeah. Y'all follow me and subscribe to my video. Show your girl some love. Y'all have a blessed day.